All right, hello people of Earth watching my video. Trash Kid 63 here. And uh, I'm gonna do a cart update for you guys. So these are all the carts that I have uh, right now here in storage. Um, I'm just kinda gonna go over them quickly for you. First, we have this uh, 96 gallon turnkey from Empire Waste Management. Uh, used to, it used to be all over uh, North Bay. You know, pretty much everyone had one um, standard yard waste cart. Um, I don't know what they were before when waste management was here, but uh, when North Bay came, that's what they were for. So glad I have one of these. Um, next, this is a super rare find. Uh, this is a 64 gallon uh, fully automated uh, first generation WMX toter. Um, in my old videos, I had a different one of these. That one went to uh, Mill Dog. This one's really sun faded on the roof, as you can see here. Um, it says Empire. It used to say Empire Waste Management here, but uh, North Bay would scratch that out. Um, on my other cart, let me see. Yeah, right here, it said Applied Products Incorporated instead of Toter, um, but this one says Toter. So I'm not really sure what was with that other cart. Um, it says Toter right there. This one is super dirty can't really see but uh yeah so that is uh next up i have two of these um wmx 96 gallon toters um you know they're pretty common around here also um actually got this one first um but yeah, I don't know. This one has a lot better lid. Um, it's not sun faded. A lot of them nowadays are sun faded, but I saw this one, I was like, wow, that's an excellent shape. So I'm gonna be keeping this one in storage. And then the other one is gonna be going uh, somewhere else. So yeah, I have this. As you can see, they both have the WMX logo on the side. Great carts, fucking love these carts. They're awesome. Um, Speaking of toters, I have uh, three 35 gallon or uh, 32 gallon um, EVR ones or EVRs. Um, these two are from Empire Waste Management. This is a first generation here. Uh, the lid's pretty messed up. Um, it says Toter Incorporated Atlas Carts on it. Um, so yeah, super dirty inside. Um, this one actually has kind of a issue with the axle. I tried getting it to stay in there, but I'm gonna, it, it wouldn't. So I'm gonna have to fucking take a hammer to it or something at some point. But yeah, um, it also has these style wheels on it. Um, you know, just regular toter small wheels, um, which are kind of common, but there's another style of wheels that would be on these carts too. Yeah, it's just normal toter wheels. As you can see, this one has the same wheels. This is a second generation one. Um, you know, it's uh, sort of built like the same front as the third generation, but it has a different style lid and it has small wheels. Um, I'll do a quick comparison for you guys. Um, see this one has screw lids this one has like plastic pop-ins as well as as well as this one they're all kind of different um and yeah and it has the small wheels too so that's pretty interesting these cars it's kind of burned on the side there but whatever and then this is a property of disposal company north bay um typical 32 gallon toter evr1 uh, third generation but um it does have a 20 gallon insert which they used to get these before toter made the 20 gallon carts um so this is pretty cool this one was made in april of 2014 um this one i'm pretty sure was made in 92 let me see let me see yep september in 92 look at that so 
unfortunately haven't looked at this one. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing on there. Um, but yeah, and it also has the newer style lid on it. This is the first kind of third generation lid. As you can see, it has the little handle right here and it has flat parts and then the groove here. This has bumpy parts and then the groove and then it has a sort of flat thing that goes all the way across. So I guess this is like a fourth generation. Um, yeah, this is just an extra lid. It's pretty cracked so in the back, so might get rid of it. This cart here, super special. Um, I went to the North Bay Yard for my 11th birthday and uh, they were they just gotten these. And um, this was like the first um, you know, set of them on the streets. It's actually 21 gallon, not 24, as you can see, because it has the insert there. Um, but they gave me this cart and I was so excited. I was so happy. Um, it's only been picked up maybe like, I don't know, probably less than 10 times by a truck total. Um, but then I took it in my room and used it for laundry as a kid. That's why there's that sticker on it. <laughs> That's why there's a little ribbon thing from Easter hell a long ago got kind of dirty from being around all these other carts but goo 45 7 11 i remember that fucking to this day <laughs> so yeah that's this cart super awesome super special uh next i have an auto evolution um uh, when i was at the cart yard and i got this cart um they they had just gotten these two and they said that they were going to pass them out I think in like Novato or Katati or Petaluma, somewhere, somewhere else. Um, so they're not too common actually, but uh, auto evolutions are super cool. I fucking love them. Um, as you can see, it says property disposal company there. Um, looking for the date stamp, here it is. It says March of 2010. So it's got a crack on the bottom, but that's okay. You can't see it when the lid is closed, so it's all good, right? No tipper bar, sadly. I forgot to do a date trick on this one because I'm obsessed. Uh, that would probably be January of 2011. So I got this cart in September of that year. Next up, I have two auto classics. Um, this first one says North Bay on the side, which is cool. Um, you know, occasionally you'd see carts with this logo on it, um, which is awesome. I love it. Um, what's unique about this cart is that it has a 20 gallon insert in it, which, you know, is not something you ever really see when it comes to, uh, these auto classics. I mean, they could be a bit more common than I think, because you can't really tell unlike those toters, but you know, as far as I know, like, I didn't know that existed. I know that, um, before these 20 gallon carts, there was 20 gallon like wheelie bins that would be around that were super tiny that were probably like this tall all around. And I think they were made by Otto or Schaefer and they'd say property disposal company on them or gray like that. But damn, I haven't seen one of those in like a decade. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a really cool cart. Really cool that it has that insert in it. So yeah, this next one is a 32 Auto Classic that's blue. It says property disposal company. This model of carts, as well as the 65 gallon, never said North Bay on them. They would only say property disposal company. Some of the 95 gallon ones say, um, say that. Uh, this one was made in July of 2002. It's in great shape, it's fucking great. It's no fades, no cracks. Uh, the lid is a bit darker than the can, as you can kind of see here, so it's probably not the original lid. Let me see. I'm like, does the can have a date on it? It's kind of full of wheels and shit though, so I don't really want to tip it over. But yeah, I've got tons of toter, cascade wheels, and axles in there, so it's really heavy and stuff too. And then next, I have two Cloverdale Disposal Service wheelie bins. Now, I had never seen these before. Um, I didn't know that this company even existed. Um, you know, a lot of times when I see, they're both made by Schaefer, by the way. 
A lot of times when I see Schaefer wheelie bins around here, I expect them to say Larry's Sanitary Service, because uh, most of them did, but apparently Cloverdale had their own service a long, long time ago, too. Uh, this one has a sticker on it, as you can see, it's vintage and faded. It says, no motor oil slash oil filters or something in this garbage can. Call the Eco Bank Recycling and Disposal locations near, nearby. So yeah, that's really cool. It has a serial number. This one I believe was made in 93. So yeah, looks like it's missing a hinge there or a pin. Um, but yeah, this one is in great shape. No cracks, no anything. This one, um, I'm not sure what size it is, but it's pretty fucked up on all the sides. It has a hole there, crack there. I think a crack on the front too. This one was made in 1992. As you can see, it says July. Um, so yeah. Just wanna look at the wheels too. They're sort of like the 32 Auto Classic wheels, but these ones are gray on the inside. Let's see a comparison right here. Yeah, they're sort of similar. So yeah, it's these two. Um, this bigger one I might be able, to, I'm kind of looking to part ways with. You know, it's not, there's another crack there. It's not in the best shape, but I still think it's super valuable, super rare. You know, something that you definitely want to preserve. So probably looking for a good home for it. So yeah. And then lastly, I have these two little bins here. This first one, I was at a, little transfer station around town with my dad. He was a construction worker. He was dumping off materials and uh, we got to like the huge pile and I saw this and I was like, holy shit, I'm gonna grab it. I was like 10 or 11, so I grabbed it. It says San Francisco curbside recycling. So this probably would have been, I don't know, maybe before NorCal Waste too. Uh, just how dirty it is on the bottom. <laughs> um, I think it was like sun, Sunset Scavengers or something like that. So yeah, that's really cool. Um, it doesn't say any information about who made it. Um, yeah, as you can see, it says San Francisco Recycling Program. And yeah. I've always loved this bin. I thought it was awesome. It has a small crack there too, but, uh, but yeah. Always loved it. Oh, here we go. Made in Canada, A1 products, Brampton, Ontario. Anything on the other side? It says, bin containers, bin contains post-consumer plastics. Uh, property of NorCal Solid Waste System. So this was NorCal Waste. That answers that question, but love this little bin. And then I found this on the side of the road too. It's a Safeway shopping basket. I know it's not exactly part of this whole, you know, the waste theme, but I just thought it was really cool. I found it and I brought it home and I was like, yeah, might as well include it in this video today too. So yeah. All right, guys, these are all my carts. I got to put these away really fast. So thank you.